You are watching video images from the private files of Anna von Wersch, professor of psychology at Teesside University in Middlesbrough. These were made during an experiment that was performed on Anna and her husband in preparation for a replica investigation into the effects of flow. Anna von Wersch is a specialist in health-related psychology. One of her specific areas of interest is that of complementary medicine. And one of her published books is entitled Complementary Medicine and Health Psychology. She's a respected authority in her field, and so Flow International approached her with a request to perform a series of investigations, one of which was to repeat the study done by Sangitama Hubner of the Humaniversity. Here, a dark field microscope was used to observe the movement of red blood cells exposed to the radiation emitted by a mobile telephone. The replica experiment repeats this procedure, but this time using a minutely small microscope, the Cytocam, a device about the size of a ballpoint pen. The tip of this is pressed against the skin, close to the ear, and allows the movement of living blood cells within the body to be viewed on a computer screen. The dark field microscope is effectively a primitive version of the Cytocam, where a blood sample first has to be taken from the subject and can only then be observed under the microscope. Professor von Wersch submitted both her own blood and that of her husband, Bert Jan, to be tested in this manner by Mrs. Hubner. Three different sets of observations were performed, and Bert Jan was the first subject. Firstly, the zero line test, made after he had not eaten or drunk anything for several hours. A drop of blood was taken and viewed using the dark field microscope. The red blood cells here look perfectly normal. The second observation took place after Bert Jan had been holding an iPhone in his left hand for five minutes. The phone was on, with no active connection to another phone. The blood sample made here reveals a clustering of red blood cells that resembles a stack of coins, also known as Rouleau formation. Before the third observation, Bert Jan held an iPhone in his hand for five minutes, now actively connected but this phone was also fitted with a mobile flow device. The red blood cells are moving here with a good, free motion. In fact, they appear healthier than those of the zero line test. Bert Jan has worked in the pharmaceutical industry and is not a man to be easily convinced, but these results far exceeded his expectations. Anna's blood, when tested after using an iPhone without a mobile flow, revealed a less negative image than that of her husband. Although this didn't surprise her, because she'd been carrying a personal flow constantly for several months for the reason of pure scientific curiosity. She is surprised, however, by the attitude of other researchers who reject flow simply because it has not been scientifically proved. So, she says, if we scientists don't get ourselves involved with this, then who is going to prove if it works or not?